F122 has just become available on Game Pass. It's also available on Steam. And I thought, what a spectacular time to do a triple screen tutorial. Now, before we get into it, F122 does not have native triple screen support, but we're going to work around it as best we can to achieve this. As you can see, I'm fairly happy with it, and we're going to go through a couple of steps in order to get us here. Firstly, we're going to look at setting up NVIDIA Surround, plus some other alternatives. We're going to look at how to calculate the correct field of view for your triple screen setup, and also how to measure your triple monitors. Then, the bread and butter of this is how to optimize F122 to get it singing as sweetly as we possibly can within the constraints of the system to get that triple screen nirvana. So, without further ado, let's rock and roll. Now, just to make you aware, there will be some repetition from my other triple screen setup videos, as I wanted all of these instructional videos to be a one-stop shop. So if you don't need a section, please skip ahead using the chapter markers below. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. Unfortunately, Codemasters still haven't got their act together, and F1 2022 does not support native triple screens. However, there is a workaround. I personally like to use NVIDIA Surround, but you can also use AMD iFinity to span your screens, or if you're really reluctant, you can use Simple Runtime Windows Editor. Now, I did recently cover this in my triple screen tutorial, setting up a set of cause of competizione, and if you want to use SRWE, please click the button which should be appearing on your screens now. If you want to use NVIDIA Surround and set it up, let's keep going. First, you are going to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here, you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the Setup Surround window, and at this point, you must note the order of your screens. Here, they are displayed in large white numbers. Working from left to right, they are numbered 2, 3, and 1. Now click Enable Surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point, drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before, 2, 3, and 1. Now click Apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the Resolution menu and select Bezel Corrected Resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click Apply again, and then Surround with Bezel Corrected Resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here, you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aimed for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop-down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here, this is written in pink. To measure this practically, you will need a digital angle measure, or in this case, a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. 
Measuring up is relatively easy and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width. Finally, we want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. How to optimize F1 2022 for triple monitors. Once you boot up the game, you're gonna to wanna to head to the home screen and then go down to game options. From here, you go into settings. From this point, you're then gonna to to go over to graphics settings. Within this menu, you're gonna to want to go to video mode. And if you want to, set steering animation to off. First thing to do is make sure your resolution is set correctly. Here we can see mine is set to 7768 by 1440. This is the resolution I set in my bezel corrected resolution in NVIDIA Surround. The display mode I've got set to windowed, full screen, because I like to hop in and out of F1 2022, particularly if I'm doing other things, and my aspect ratio is set to auto. To tweak your on-screen display for triples, and also to optimize your FOV, we're gonna need to do this after booting up a race. So let's head into a race. Here we've just headed into a practice session and as we bring the car to a stop, you want to hit escape to bring you to the main menu. At this point, we need to make sure that the camera is set for the most effective realism and we set this to cockpit. After that, head into settings of which you're gonna then head into camera customization. Now, important to note, F122 does not actually give you degrees um, to set your FOV to Instead, they give you arbitrary figures of which tweak the necessary parameters. Now, I've had a bit of a play around with this, and for me, this is what works well. Obviously, everyone's gonna have the different opinion for this, so please play around with it. For those that wish to use my settings as a starting point, I've set field of view to negative 10, lateral you can't change, horizontal is two, and the vertical offset is 10. Now, I've done this because you're gonna need to see the heads up display on the wheel to get all of your data. I did note there was some slight variation between different cars driven, so you may need to tweak this depending on the car you're driving. I did find that these settings give a nice balance between field of view and also combating the distortion you get with stretching the image with surround. The final thing to change is the on-screen display, so head to this section of the menu. From here, you're gonna to want to head to OSD Customization. Now, you're gonna be greeted with this screen. Now, irritatingly, Codemasters still haven't allowed us to use a mouse with their menu interface, so this is all gonna to have to be done using the keyboard. As you can see, you can cycle through all the different assets on the screen, and you can move them around accordingly to where you see fit. I've already changed this. You'll notice that at the bottom left, the layout is race. Now, if you press F9, you'll cycle through all the different race modes, including time trial, etc., hot laps and things, and you're gonna to need to do this for every different layout, and it's gonna be very, very time consuming. Just cycle through the different elements using F7 and F8, and then hit enter to save, and then tweak it to your specifications, and then that is that. So, having gone through all that rubbish, we will have hopefully gone from something like this to this. Enjoy your triple screen Nirvana, enjoy F122. If you want to see more triple screen tutorials, click the button or window on your screen right now. Like, subscribe, all that good jazz, and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.